Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Dinoscope. Today we're going to play a game called Hey, That's My Fish, uh, which takes between two to four players and plays in about 15 to 20 minutes. The version we've got on the table in front of you is the pocket sized version. You can get a slightly large version with larger hexes. To set the board up in Hey, That's My Fish, what you're going to do, you're going to randomly distribute the hexes so that you've got some rows of seven, rows of eight, rows of seven, rows of eight, and so on, in this roughly square-shaped pattern. You're also going to take some penguins of different colours. Now you might notice that each penguin has its own slight artwork, so each player's got four differently styled penguins. That's a penguin there which has just a lot of fish in his hands. That's a penguin there who's moaning that all his fish have been taken. Each player's got those four penguins, and with a two-player game, you're going to play with four penguins each. So if red and blue are here, they play with four each. In a three-player game, you play with three penguins each. In a four-player game, you play with two penguins each. So let's say we're playing in a three-player game, let's go to yellow. So each person's going to have three penguins each. Okay, so you've got red, green, and blue. You're going to start with the youngest player. So the youngest player is going to take one of their penguins, and they're going to place it on the board first. The rule for the first penguin you place, it means it has to be placed on one of the ice floes that has one fish on it. So you notice all the ice floes here have different numbers of fish on it. All the, fi all the ice floes with one fish on it uh, have green fish, all the ice floes with two fish on it are purple, and all the ones with three are orange, to make it quite distinctive. You take one of your penguins, let's say green is the youngest player, and you place it on one of the ice floes with one fish. Blue will do the same, red will do the same, green will do the same, and you keep doing till all your penguins are out on the board. Once you've done that, you're ready to play. You're going to play until you can't move anymore, and you're going to try and collect as many fish as you can. When it's your turn, your move is quite simple. You're going to take one of your penguins, you're going to move as far as you can in a straight line as long as all the ice you pass through is connected. So this green penguin can move as far as he can this way, but he can't go past his other green penguin. As far as he wants this way, up to the blue one to the red one, to the blue one, and all the way down to the corner if he wants. He can stop part way down the route, but what the green's going to do, so let's say green does this, green moves to that three fish spot there, and then you would take the fish you were on. So green will take this fish here, and basically green has one fish in green's scoring power. Put that face down so no one knows exactly how many you've got, and you'll pass over to blue. Blue might do the same thing, move one of his penguins to a three fish spot, but what blue can't do now is that this blue one here can't get to this spot with three fish in it because there is now a gap in the ice flow. So blue could move to here, or this blue one could move to here to try and get that three fish, or this one blue one can go to here, and so on. This one go to this three fish spot, and you're trying to land on the high fish spots or trying to contain the most area. So let's say blue goes here and takes that pot spot there, and red goes here and takes that spot there, and you keep going, and as you can see, every time you make a move, the whole ice flow starts to disintegrate slightly. This bit here is slightly starting to fall apart a bit, and as it falls apart, as it falls apart, some of the penguins are going to get separated from the rest. You're going to keep going in that way until one player might find that at the start of their turn they can't move. That means if one of their penguins can't move, you would remove that penguin from the board uh, along with the towel that penguin sat on. And when all of their penguins can't move, you would remove all of their penguins from the board and they would be out of the game as, at least until the point they can't make any more moves. The rest of the players would keep moving and keep going until they themselves can't make any more moves and you'd count up to see who has the most fish at the end. The person who is able to control areas of the board the best, land on the high fish spaces and avoid having any of their penguins uh, shut out of the action, will win by collecting the most fish, or at least the most hexes with the most fish on it. That is Hey That's My Fish. It plays exactly the same to the larger version of this game, but it comes in a much smaller box. If you like uh, a game like this, it plays very well with families and kids of all ages, as well as adults too, as a quick filler come down to the Dice Cup and try it out. You can try it on one of our new Geek and Sun tables you can see me using now, and we're open from 10am till late. I've been Steve from the Dice Cup. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.